it's Zoe, and I continue studying for dynamics. Big shocker, you know, I'm always studying for this class, it feels like. Um, but now we're going to be going over the treatment of pituitary and adrenal gland disorders. We're going to start off with growth hormone deficiency, uh, which is made by the pituitary gland. Um, you treat it with recombinant human growth hormone. Um, some of the generics is somatotropin, and there's a lot of brands. Um, the mechanism of action is that it has the same actions of growth hormones, which stimulates growth. Makes sense. Um, clinical, clinical indications, uh, growth failure, mainly in peds, uh, growth hormone deficiency in adults, and HIV-associated wasting. Adverse effects is edema, neuromuscular, and skeletal pain. Contraindication is growth promotion in pediatric patients with closed epiphyses, um, active malignancies, and active diabetic uh, retinopathy. Uh, next is the uh, treatment um, for adrenal insufficiency, which is glucocorticoids. Um, um, for adrenal crisis, you want to use IV hydrocortisone, and some alternatives is methoprednisolone and dexamethasone. For chronic adrenal uh, insufficiency, the first line is short-acting glucocorticoids, such as hydrocortisone, and the alternatives is long-acting glucocorticoids, such as prednisone, prednisolone, and dexamethasone. Most patients with primary renal adrenal insufficiency eventually require uh, mineral corticoid replacement to prevent sodium loss, um, intravascular volume depletion, and hyperkalemia. Next is Cushing syndrome. Um, I wonder if I can try to explain this one. There's an increased total in visceral fat and total fat and a decrease in limb fat. So you have a lot of like beer gut sort of situation going on. Um, you can also have mus um, muscul muscular atrophy as well as decreased proximal mus muscle strength and decreased tendon strength. Decrease in bone mineral deficiency, increase in prevalence of fractures, uh, decrease in linear growth, hepatic uh, steatosis. I don't know how to pronounce that, to be honest. Um, you can also have some skin thinning with striae and easy brushing, as well as hyperpigmentation, acne, alopecia, and hirsutism. I don't know if I pronounced that right. So for the treatment of Cushing syndrome, um, if Cushing syndrome is caused by an exogenous therapy, uh, you need to gradually withdraw the glucocorticoid. Um, if for an endogenous cause, such as with a tumor, um, they most likely want to treat it surgically, but for pharmacologic therapy, it is often required when uh, surgery is delayed, contraindicated, or unsuccessful as serotogenic inhibitors, uh, which prevent steroid synthesis in the adrenal glands and thus are frequently administered to patients with Cushing syndrome while they await surgery. Some examples of serotogenic inhibitors is ketoconazole, uh, mitotane, and metirapone. Their mechanism of action is that they inhibit steroid synthesis in the adrenal glands and its clinical indications, it has an off-label for Cushing syndrome. So with ketoconazole, um, so this is kind of a review from antifungals. So the adverse effects is hepatotoxicity and adrenal insufficiency. Some box warnings um, with appropriate use. You use ketoconazole only when other effective antifungal therapies is not available or tolerated. And the potential benefits are considered to outweigh the potential risks. Uh, monitor patients for hepatotoxicity and drug interactions, as well as a, a prolonged QT interval. Uh, contraindications, co-administration with CYP3A4 substrates, which may lead to a uh, QT prolongation. Mitotane, a uh, labeled indication is for inoperable, functional, or non-functional adrenocortical carcinoma. Its off-label indication is for Cushing syndrome. Um, adverse effects, uh, which are more common, uh, GI, such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and anorexia, CNS, such as dizziness, vertigo, and depression, and as a box warning for adrenal crisis. 
metyrapone. Um, it has a labeled indication um, for a diagnostic test in combination with other diagnostic tests for the diagnosis of adrenal insufficiency in peds in adult patients. It has an off-label indication for Cushing syndrome. Its adverse effects is GI, such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and anorexia, and CNS symptoms, such as dizziness, vertigo, and depression. Um, medications for hyperprolactinemia is a uh, dopamine antagonist, such as bromocryptine. Its mechanism of action is that it activates dopamine receptors, which inhibits prolactin secretion. Uh, clinical indication is hyperprolactinemia or Parkinson's and Parkinson's disease. Adverse effects is cardiovascular, such as hypertension and cardiac uh, valvular disorders. Uh, CNS, such as depression and somnolence, and some psychiatric disorders such as mania. Uh, contraindications: uncontrolled hypertension, history of cardiac valvular disorders, history of pulmonary, pericardial, or retroperitoneal fibrotic disorders. And yet again, that was a really short one. Uh, I probably should have made a video, but you know what? You need help studying sometimes. <laughs> so, I guess that's it. Happy studying and have fun!